Hey everybody, I'm Ace Trenilium and welcome to episode 30 of my Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Quadlock. We're in Canalave City and we're about to get our ass handed to us by more gym trainers because I haven't had time to grind. I literally have not had time. I've got such a freaking busy week this week with um, with the whole Pokemon 20. I've got a special video that I'm planning for that and um, it's taken up quite a bit of my time. Oh. But it's okay, we're going to carry on. And I'm going to ask you today, since this gym puzzle is giving me grief, which is your favourite of all the gym puzzles? I don't think I've asked that before. If I have, I'm sorry, but it is a nice question, I think. So, which is your favourite gym puzzle? My favourite is always going to be the Lieutenant Surge puzzle, because as frustrating as it is, it's really satisfying when you finally complete it. So we're challenged by Mallory, who has a Toxic Rogue. I think we can... Actually, no, I don't think Lava Lava is going to do well against a Toxic Rogue. However, Mr. Nido, on the other hand, is weak to ground-type moves like Mud Bomb. <sighs> okay. In that case, we'll send in Thrusk, who now is confused and has supercharged attack. But we're going to use Mud Bomb as well. Okay, Sucker Punch is annoying. We use Mud Bomb and Mist. Use Mud Bomb. My accuracy falls. We get the Mud Bomb. Unfortunately, Mud Bomb is not a physical move, so we don't get to use that attack boost. But we beat Mallory anyway. And now it's time to Healy Healy. Let's just heal up Thrusk. And we'll heal up. Shit. <laughs> We'll heal up Mr. Nido if I can actually land on him. There we go. So, continuing. So we can go... That's the way we came from. So we'll go this way. And head up here. Gonna face this little douche. And he says, the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. Oh! Throwing out the noobs. Dropping the N-bomb. Ace Trainer Daniel. With your Raichu. Okay, Raichu. You're another good opponent for Thrusk. Yep, because your Thunderbolt don't affect me, but my Mud Bomb sure as hell affects you. Almost. I wish we had a freaking... Ooh, Parasect. Okay, that could be an issue. Can we outspeed the Parasect with an Ice Fang? And just destroy it? Yes, we can. Yeah, I really want um, Thrusk to learn a physical... Ground type move. Yeah, you're going to send Raichu back in and we're going to knock you Raichu back out, mate. If we can hit with the Mud Bomb. There we go. We're just flooring it through this gym. Which means the gym leader's probably going to have something horrible. That's generally how our luck works in these games, right? Okay. Across the little landing bit. Oh, up again. This must be a good sign. Hello, mate. Pokemon and people have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of their history. Oh, that history. My apologies. Marshall with a Gibble. Gibble's not going to be a nice opponent for Lava Lava. Since Lava Lava is four times weak to ground. That Dragon Claw, I'm not that worried about because we'll just Ice Fang you. Bam. And what are you going to send in? Ooh, Fanny's level 17. You're about to send in Celio. So I'm going to switch out the Fizzle, who's going to resist water and ice. But has electric attacks as well. Yeah, Aurora Beam, not very effective. Down goes Celio. Job done. Hello. Hey yeah, we're coming out swinging with super heavy judo jumps. What have you got? Bob has a Gabite. Oh my god, a Gabite. That's kind of scary, actually. But we'll throw in Thrusk, and Thrusk will save the day. Ooh, a critical hit on that slash. Scary. But down goes Gabite. Nice and easy. And you're about to send in a Geodude, which I don't really want to face. I'm going to send out Fizzle. Fizzle's got Surf. And Surf can save the day. 
You alright, dog? Yeah, we destroyed him. We do need another super potion. I'm not taking any risks in this gym. I've decided. <coughs> that was a hell of a cough. Oh, I need... I'm gonna give Thrust a lava cookie as well. Oh no, that restores status problems. What am I talking about? Let's go down this little gangway. Anyone else lost? I am. By focusing on only one type, you can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Mm. I like to vary my types if I can, Ace Trainer Joe. With a Sentra, it's not a shiny. <laughs> After all that Pastoria rubbish. You flinched, you died. Wow, you should have really focused on more types of Pokemon than just one. Ooh, this is the way. All the way to the top to face this guy. Ah, that's Orbo's gym badge. I see, I see. You must have defeated my son. But that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rock, I, Byron, will take your challenge. All right then, Byron. I'm challenged by leader Alex <laughs> with a Carnivine. Okay, Carnivine is not a problem. And you flinched. Beautiful. Not a problem. Okay, so Carnivine fainted. That's good to know. Fanny's level 19! She's getting there slowly. She wants to learn Magnitude. What's she got? She's got Flail, Rapid Spin, Knock Off, and Roll Out. I'm gonna get rid of Roll Out because it's too risky. You're about to send in Metang. Okay, well I'm gonna switch out and bring in Thrust. Although kind of dangerous because Thrusk is weak to steel, but we do have Ice Fang. Not Ice Fang, I wanted to use Mud Bomb, what am I talking about? Lucky we got that flinch, right? Use Pursue, okay. Let's not worry about Pursue. Oh, that Bullet Punch is going to be- OH MY GOD! That was insane! I know it was a crit, but Jesus! Oh my- oh my days! Holy moly, Thrusk! Jesus! We'll just Aura Sphere and kill it. Oh my god, it's not dead. Full Restore, I hate you. I mean, Full Restore is like normally effective, isn't it? It's... But at least Bullet Punch isn't going to destroy us this time. Like, I thought Bullet Punch was quite underpowered. I mean, I know Ice types are weak to steel, but Jesus! That crit, man. I suppose crit, like, doubles the power, doesn't it? So, Jesus. Okay, you're about to send in Shroomish as your last Pokemon. I am no longer worried. Right, okay. Air Slash it is. One hit to kill. Okay, I can't, I can't fall asleep. There we go, job done. Oh my god. Thrusk, why? We got lots of money for winning, though. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this, the Mind Badge. We got the Mind Badge, but we lost Thrust. Having the Mind Badge enables you to use the hidden move strength anytime outside of battle. And you now have six Gym Badges. That means Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. Take this too. TM91. It contains the move Trick. If it hits, it may also lower the target's special defense. Okay. The user catches the foe off guard and swaps the foe's held item. Yeah. Not massively important. Do I have to really go down all the lifts or is there... There must be another lift. There must be like a super exit lift. Somewhere. There we go. Straight down to the bottom. Oh, I can't believe we lost Thrust. Ridiculous. Oh, go away, Shibreth. Hey, that's the my badge. Good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Anyway, I'll come with me to the library. Think I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center first, you knob. Damn it. Poor Thrust. You had a good run, buddy. 
Oh, he's holding the razor fang. That's pretty, pretty incredible. Okay, let's move Thrusk. Into box 18, where all our dead Pokemon are. And I'm going to bring out... Hmm... I'm going to bring out Wobbadaddy. I know it's risky, but I'm going to bring out Wobbadaddy. I think Wobbadaddy could become a crazy member of the team at some point. Say we don't have a focus sash or something, that'd be handy. Or a focus band. Beautiful. Right then. Um... I'm going to give Wabadaddy the cleanse tag, just in case, just in case we need it. Now let's go to talk to Shibref in the library. You're right, dog. How you doing? Is he upstairs? What an idiot. Of course he goes to the top floor because he's a loser. Hey, L, over here, this way. Ugh, what? Oh, it's them two. Okay, Gramps, I brought L like I said. All right, I'll be out of here. Oh. Oh, okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's here, finally. L, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those who are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make of legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume the legendary Pokemon are as complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the three lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we obtain data on them, we may shed some light on how the process of evolution works. I need help from one of you on this, each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Miragers. What are you saying? I didn't get no Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? Well, that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me! I'll always help with my Pokedex too! Elle, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all you go regardless. Anyway. Now, there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do! Shibref, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. That would make you all- that would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. And that leaves L for Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Ooh, scary. Has it stopped? Are all of you on harm? Let's go outside. Be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Oh, you all just leave me here. That's fine. Hell, hurry along, but be aware of aftershocks. I'm feeling wobbly. Alright. The town is rubble. The tremor wasn't a natural occurrence. Uh, hey, old dude and kids, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that! Cramps, I'm gonna go to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Shipref can't stick still. I'm worried about Lake Valor, but I have no idea what is, to what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, let me stress. Don't get in over your head. We'll try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Hell, you'll be okay, won't you? Yes, I'm super strong. I want to go to Iron Island first, because it makes sense. Do you want to set sail? Yeah, let's do it. Look at that. Don't even have to worry about Lake Verity. Lake Verity? Lake Valor. Valor, mate. Okay. I'd very much like to cross the water and have some tea because I'm so British! Now then. Who are you and what are you doing in here? Oh, it's just a little rest stop, is it? No? No? It's just an unimportant house. This looks suspicious. A heat rock! Ooh! A heat rock. Extends the duration of sunny day. Super handy. 
Now we can catch a Pokemon in here. That's all I really came for. Although there are items in here too. I went the wrong way, obviously. Wouldn't be me if I didn't go the wrong way from time to time. Oh, Luxio, you are not eligible, but you are strong. Oh, you paralyzed me, you nuts. Absolute nutcase. Oh. Well, that's okay then. That, that saved the day, really. Gonna go for... Super Potion and a Paralyzed Heal. Now then, let's continue. Must find eligible Pokemon. Ooh, it's a Persian! Also not eligible. <laughs> but man, the levels in here are crazy. We're gonna go Aura Sphere. Uh oh, our defense harshly fell. We need to kill this thing. Ooh, power gem. That's not a that's a special move, so we're kinda lucky. Yay! Alium is level 34 and Fanny is level 20! Uh oh, trainer. This is gonna be hell. Yeah, I like to camp, so what? Let's battle! Alright, mate, I wasn't judging you. Florentino has a Murkrow that's level 31, but we have Ancient Power. Oh, Murkrow didn't die? Damn it. Okay. Come on. You're about to send him what? Oh, Moth him, who's four times weak to uh, Ancient Power. Nice. Well, that was easy enough. Come on, eligible Pokemon. Oh, we already had a Krabby! Krabby was our starter! Jesus! Doesn't that take you back? Yeah, we can't... We unfortunately cannot have a Krabby. That is not allowed because we've already had a Krabby. I don't think it ever evolved into Kingler either. So we could have had a Kingler, but not a Krabby. That's so unfortunate. Anything else we can catch? Oh, not a bloody Luxio again. Ooh, Swagger. Not what I want. But we got the Fire Fang. We're safe. We're good. Oh, man. Ooh, it's a Banette. I also can't catch Banette because it's not eligible. <laughs> Ooh, Shadow Sneak. And a crit. Okay, I'm not worried about Shadow Sneak. No, no squeaky toys. Flame Plate. Oh, that's handy. That'll increase the power. Three beings were born to bind time and space. Thank you. Okay, we need to leave this area. Poison is not one of our eligible types. I need to confiscate that. That's... Sorry, sorry, puppy. Confiscated. Ancient power. Boom! I'm not confused, Ray. Damn it. Okay, we, we got this, we got this. Oh yeah, better use a super potion. Better, better use a super potion. Is there going to be anything eligible in here? No, just freaking Golbat. I'm not even going to face you. Oh, can't escape from a Golbat. Really? What about down this side? Will there be different Pokemon down this side, do we think? Who knows? Oh, Pokeball that way. Whismur! How adorable! Not very strong though. Also not very eligible. 
I meant to use Aura Sphere and I didn't, but it really doesn't matter because Whismur isn't that strong, is it? Let's go. Another yellow flute. How freaking irritating. Oh no, Geodude's a ground type. Oh no, really? And the thing is, I've got a quick ball it, and if I don't catch it, oh thank God we caught it. Never mind. I suppose it'll come in handy. Many live on mountain trails and remain half buried while keeping an eye on climbers. Yeah, let's let's give a nickname. Let's call him Geo Dunks. Damn it. Okay, we'll come back to Iron Island when we're a little bit stronger. For now, I feel like the sensible thing would be to escape. Do we have an escape rope? I don't know if we do. No, we don't have an escape rope, so we're going to have to manually walk our way out of this place. This is where we're going to encounter a Pokemon that is freaking awesome. Okay, we couldn't have had a Mareep anyway, so that, that's not too bad. Oh, there's no PP left for that move. We'll just have to use... Oh, stop pressing it. Fire Fang. And, of course, we get Static. Uh-oh. Cotton Spore, slightly annoying. And if we head up here, leave this realm. So, I think the next best thing to do is to head back to Canalade. I'll go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And um, then we'll head to Lake Valor in tomorrow's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a nice, lovely like. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss another video from me. I upload them every single day. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.